Hey everyone, it's Amy, Old Book, New Look. Uh, today is... Um... Thursday? December 29th? Alright, I have to give you a disclaimer here because... It is 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. I went to work. I had to be at work at 7.30 last night. Worked all night, got out at 6 this morning, came home, got my daughter ready for, well, she's not in school this week, she's at a day camp, so I got her ready for camp. Brought her to camp when it was time, drove back to work for a class from 8.30 to 11.30 this morning, and uh, had some errands to do afterwards, so I just got home. It's one in the afternoon. I worked all night. I'm exhausted. Honestly, I, it kind of feels like I'm drunk. <laughs> uh, so I don't know how much sense I'm going to be making, but for some reason I decided that it would be a good idea to make a video. Mostly because this was the time that I had to do it. The time that I have to do it. So yeah, just forewarning, if I don't make sense, I'm sorry, but I wanted to make a video other than the video I made yesterday of me jumping around my living room like a maniac. So yeah, yesterday, big, 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 big day, very exciting for me. I ran my mile under 12 minutes, been working on that for like three months. And it finally happened yesterday for the first time, under 12 minutes, I came in. My mile was 11 minutes and 43 seconds. And that time included probably about a minute that I had to slow down to walk because the fire alarms went off, like right smack dab in the middle of my run. <laughs> and so I like slowed down so I could look around to see what the heck was going on and one of the trainers came around after a minute and said it's just it's just we're just testing the alarms you can keep going keep going so I did I bumped it back up to a run and got my mile into 12 minutes I'm so excited so then I came home and danced and I was so freaking excited and signed my husband and I up for the 5k on St. Patty's Day. My husband promised me he'd do it with me. So I'm looking excited, excited about that. I'm supposed to start, I told him we would start training for it tonight. I think we're going to do the couch to 5k. Um, I told him we go to the Y tonight and start, start our program. I gotta get some sleep. Ah, um, but that's the plan. So, focus, Amy, focus. Uh, so I wanted to tell you about my weigh-in this week. This week I weighed in at 204 pounds, 204.0, and that was a 3.7 pound loss from the week before. So the week of Christmas, I lost 3.7 pounds just awesome um so i'm i'm not stalled anymore which is is nice i mean my stall last night last night last week actually i'm i'm okay with the stalls now i mean yeah i i want to see the scale go down 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 but i realized like i had an epiphany that like you know Maybe stalls are a good thing because it gives us a chance to get our minds caught up with everything that's going on. And I really just last week really took the time to notice the changes in my body and really just really focusing in on that and all the NSVs that I've had lately. It's just crazy sauce. Um... So yeah, I don't know, NSVs, there's been a lot of good NSVs going on 
Um, I'm trying to think, did I write any down recently? Da, da, da. I know I had to make a new page. I think I showed you guys my journal here. And this, these are my two pages of NSVs here. So I had to start a new, I filled those two pages up. I had to start a new page. Um, I don't know. Let me see. What can I talk about NSVs? Well, just feeling more confident in my body. And, um, you know, when I started doing Zumba, I wore my 3X t-shirts and kind of hid under them. Because I didn't like the wiggle in my jiggle, if you know what I mean. But I'm at the point now where I'm noticing that I'm more confident in my body. Even though I've still got the jiggle in my jello. Uh, did I just say that? Um, it, it doesn't bother me. I don't know. I feel good about myself. I feel, I, I like the way I look. And yeah, I've got some jiggle going on, but it doesn't bother me. I don't know. So I think that's a huge NSV. Um, what else? I mentioned on my Facebook, my husband and I, uh, went to a movie for our anniversary in December. And I noticed when I sat down, I was like, holy crap, my, si the sides of my body don't touch the sides of the seat anymore. Yeah, that... I mean, I used to have to cram myself into those movie theater seats and they're the like the big deluxe, you know, Cadillac of movie theater seats at this stadium style movie theater we go to. My body touched both sides of the seat and now it doesn't anymore. Um, I'm wearing corduroys today. I wore corduroys to work last night. I can walk down the hallway and not be worried about the corduroys making noises when I walk. That's pretty cool. It's a cool NSV. My size 16 jeans that I have are loose. I'm not buying new clothes right now because I want to see if I can skip a few sizes before I, before I buy new clothes. Uh, my mother-in-law gave me a gift certificate to Old Navy for Christmas, which is awesome, and I really want to go out and use it, like, right away. But I also really want to save it to use for when I'm close to my goal weight, because I really want the clothes that I buy to be able to last me for a while, you know? Like, right now, I just bought, like, these corduroys and... My grandmother-in-law bought me some nice slacks about maybe three weeks ago, and they're already loose. Um, so I'm going to have them taken in. She she recommended a tailor to me, but they're already... They already look frumpy on me. So, and it's been like three weeks. You know? Um, it's awesome. It's an awesome problem to have. It's an awesome NSV. But, um, kind of a, I don't know. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Um, what else? You know, something that I didn't speak of my husband, something I hadn't, I don't think I've mentioned yet, but one of my favorite NSVs that I've had so far is, um, couple of times my husband said to me it's really nice to hear you laugh again it's really nice to see you smiling again and it just like struck me because I never noticed how even though I thought I was happy and I thought I was I don't know I I didn't think I was unhappy. I mean, I wasn't happy with myself. 
and my size and, and my inability to do the things that I wanted to do. Certainly, I, I wasn't happy about that, but I didn't think I was a miserable person all the time, you know. But for my husband to say that he's noticed a difference in, in me just randomly smiling and laughing and joking around and I guess being being myself again like I don't know that's just huge like I didn't realize how much of me was gone or buried underneath I don't know I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happier. I'm, I mean, I mean, everyone says, and it's true that losing weight doesn't solve your problems. But in my case, anyway, it has made me happier. I'm, it's not just losing weight. It's losing weight in the, in the physical exercise and, and the confidence and, and the feeling like I can do so many more things now and just the improved quality of life. Um, you know, it's like... I mean, I still have... There are still I still have issues in my life. I've said this before. I still have things I have to deal with. Um, I, namely, like finan a financial situation that I don't have a resolution for right now. Um... So, I mean, I still have stress in my life. I still have problems. I still have things I need to deal with. But it's like... It's like the weight loss and the body image and the health and the physical fitness. Like, all that stuff is, like, intrinsic stuff. You know? It's like, it's me. It's a part of me. It's inside me. Whereas, like, the financial stuff is extra, ex I can't even talk right now, extrinsic. Um, like, it's stuff outside of me. It's not who I am. It's not, it's not a part of me. It's something that's part of my life, and I have to deal with it, but it's not a part of my body. It's not, it's not inside me. It's not something that's like part of my makeup. Do you know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I should try to go deep into my thoughts while I'm under the influence of sleep deprivation. But I don't know. Does that make any sense? That's the best way I can describe it is I am happier. I'm feel like my life is more fulfilling now because not only do I feel so good about me I feel good about my relationships with my husband and my daughter and the things that we can do together now and the things that we can share and the activities we can do I mean those things are more extrinsic too, but like they're kind of a combination of both because relationships are, I think, a combination of both intrinsic and extrinsic. <laughs> I can't talk. Because it's part it's part you and it's part somebody else, and that's what a relationship is, is bringing those two things together. So why am I getting into this? <laughs> How long is this video? How long have I been blabbing? Alright. I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope you all had an awesome Christmas. And I'll see you again next week. Oh, by the way, BTW. I'm getting closer to my Wonderland thing. Um I have to confess, I hopped on the scale last night. 
after I woke up because, you know, I take a nap before I go to work. After I woke up, before I got in the shower, hopped on the scale, it said 201 point something. I don't count it because I'm not, you know, at my weigh-in, but my official weigh-in day, but I'm getting close. Looks exciting. <laughs> that was a look of, oh my gosh, we're going to explode. Okay, I'm going to go get some sleep. You guys have a great week. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye.